Hey, welcome to our At Home Film Series. I'm your watch party host, Andre Walker. While we can't gather on Art Hill as we have in years past, we still wanted to continue this fun summer St. Louis tradition in a new virtual way. This year's theme, Summer Escapes. And we have an amazing lineup of films, trivia, food, and fun. We're swapping our picnic blankets and food truck favorites for sofas and carry out specials from some of your go-to local restaurants. So grab your friends and family and join us right here every Friday night in July. A special thank you goes out to our event partner, Sauce Magazine, and all of our restaurant partners. Local restaurants have joined with us to provide some special menu options. Visit slam.org slash film series to see the participating restaurants and to find a special movie inspired recipe from Sauce Magazine. Sauce was the first culinary dedicated media publication in the metro area. Our St. Louis food scene wouldn't be what it is without Sauce Magazine. They also throw badass parties and they're about the community. The thing about Sauce is we are knee deep local. We want to know what's happening to our neighbors, to the person around the corner, and that's why we started. It's your fork, St. Louis. It's your fork. Your, your fork. fork. It's your plate, St. Louis. It's your, your plate. plate. It's your table. It's your table. It's your table. It's your table. It's your sauce, St. Louis. For a quick and easy way to find where you can watch tonight's movie, check out Real Good, the universal search engine for all streaming services. Go to slam.org slash film series, scroll to the how to watch section, and find your preferred streaming service. Contemporary art allows us to see things in the world that we wouldn't see every day. Contemporary art is a great thing. It can be thought-provoking, it can engage with contemporary social and political realities, and art can also be, be fun. When you come here, what's so fantastic is you can see the best of Renaissance art, the best of Chinese bronzes, you can see the history of German art through Beckmann and the Expressionists, and then you can come into these buildings and you can see world-class contemporary art that frames all of those movements and brings it into your own time. The East Building, which was designed by the British architect David Chipperfield, opened in 2013. It showcases light and this architectural framework that was made specifically to bring the best out of contemporary art. You can kind of trace a trajectory uh, from abstract expressionism through pop art and minimalism, right up to the most cutting edge work which is being made today. The area of the collection which is particularly distinguishing is a post-war German art. Uh, so we have a great uh, group of works by Gerhard Richter. I kind of joke that our kind of Mona Lisa of the contemporary collection is our Gerhard Richter Betty. 
We have an amazing early Ellsworth Kelly Spectrum, which is just gorgeous in its luminosity and its color. We also have one of the most important works by Carrie James Marshall, Watts, 1963. We have a work by a Ghanaian artist, Ellen Atsui, a really beautiful Joe Mitchell. If you look at our collection, it does reflect a global range of artists. We're looking now to you know, acquire more work by important women artists, major African-American artists, Native American artists. Art being made by artists in real time. But I think, you know, the most important thing just to realize is that, you know, engaging with contemporary art is rewarding. It really can improve your life, actually. Tonight's movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, takes us to New York City across multiple dimensions within the Marvel multiverse and makes us all believe that even we have special powers within us. But before we get to the show, let's kick things off with the amazing cocktail and mocktail recipes prepared by Slam Events. All right, so we're here with Mincer. Um, he's gonna be showing us some cocktails and mocktails that you can make at home. So Mincer, what do we have going today? So today we're actually gonna start off with the Spidey Bite. The Spidey Bite's gonna be kind of a featured cocktail for Into the Spider-Verse. Okay. So today we're gonna get started off with basically just three ingredients. We have our vodka for today. Mm. We have the blue Coracel, which will give us the orange bitter taste, as well as lemon juice at the end to kind of, kind of refresh in the cocktail. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with one ounce of the vodka. Pour everything into a shaker. We'll do one ounce of the blue carousel. And is that just kind of like a, just add for taste or just for looks? So this is more of taste and looks. Okay. The blue is the dye for it, uh, but the orange, that's where the taste is coming from. It's more of a bitter taste, almost like bitters at that point. Okay. And then we also have a half ounce of lemon juice. Lemon juice. So with our shaker, we're gonna put some ice in. And where can you get some of these different drinks? Are you local grocery store? So local grocery store, I'm sure everyone has vodka at home. <laughs> everyone has lemons at home. So those two ingredients are the easiest. Okay. Blue carousel you can get at any local grocery store. Oh. So with all the liquors in our shaker, we're gonna just shake for about 10 to 15 seconds. Just to kind of aerate the drink. At the very end, we're gonna top it off with a little bit of soda. Just to kind of dilute all that strong alcohol flavor. To finish it off, maraschino cherry. You wanna try it? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Wow, that's really good. So, we have a drink for the kids today, another mocktail. So today we have the Spidey Bite mocktail. Simple as well. So we have some blueberries, a okay. lot of mint. <laughs> It's summertime, it's light, refreshing, so you want something to almost cool you down at the end of the day. Yeah. We're gonna muddle directly in the glass. Just be careful if you don't have a sturdy glass at home. Give it some ice. And to finish it off, we have some lemon lime soda. You'll see all the colors start to infuse with it. Oh, wow. And just give it a nice little stir. That way you bring out all the blueberry and mint flavor. It looks very refreshing. We'll just top it off. The blueberry as well as a mint leaf. And 
Wanna give that a try? Yeah, let's give it a try. Oh yeah, Good? by far my favorite. So you think you're a movie buff. Put your knowledge about this film to the test and challenge your friends. Who was Millet? Millet was one of the great artists of the 19th century. His work had a real capacity to shock people. The basic premise of the exhibition is to argue for a new narrative for the history of modern art. It's one that starts in the work of Millet and it moves through other canonical artists. It's surprising just how widespread his influence was. Van Gogh was obsessed by Millet. Claude Monet was greatly influenced by Millet's work. Salvador Dali. Uh, Dali produced a whole body of work which was actually inspired by one particular painting by Millet, the Angelus. And once you start to look into his work, you realize how radical it was, but also in terms of his subject matter. And he, he was representing rural life, but it was modern rural life, and the complexities of that life in all its harshness and, and richness too. It also speaks fundamentally to the importance of human dignity. If you look at these paintings, they're about you know, Millet justifying the importance of these workers. In the day and age in, in which we live today, that, that is an important message. These are paintings, drawings, pastels. They're coming from all over the world. You know, coming from Japan, from around America, from around Europe. All coming together in St. Louis. It's been exciting to see the show come together. It's really an exceptional, I would say once in a lifetime opportunity for people to see these works.
The Art Museum's collection includes art with fun and surprising connections to tonight's movie. Sit back and enjoy tonight's art chat, featuring this special work straight from the museum's collection. Hi, my name is Osma Walton and I'm the current Romir Bearden Graduate Museum Fellow here at the St. Louis Art Museum. For today's art chat, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a series that we have in our collection by artist Carrie James Marshall. During the 1999 Carnegie International, which is the oldest North American exhibition of contemporary artworks from across the globe, Carrie James Marshall debuted a series of comics entitled Rhythm Master. So every Tuesday for eight weeks, Readers of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette magazine were treated to one panel from the series. 
When interviewed about this work, Carrie James Marshall said he created it because he knew that Black children were also interested in comics and superheroes, but they rarely had the opportunity to see themselves in those works. So he wanted to create his own characters. The museum owns three parts of this series that are entitled Bulletin, Tower of Power, and Every Beat of My Heart. They have varying storylines that range from a superhero being born out of the need to end gang violence in their community, as well as mass destruction that happens on account of supernatural events. Rhythm Master was recently on view during our exhibition entitled Graphic Revolution that took place from the end of 2018 through the beginning of 2019. So unfortunately, these are not currently on view. Since they are works on paper, they can only be out for a short amount of time because works on paper are very light sensitive. So to protect them, they have to go in storage for a little while. But we do have our print study room, which allows visitors to make appointments to see works on papers that are currently taking a little break. So once our print study room reopens, I definitely recommend that you all make an appointment to come see Rhythm Master in person. But in the meantime, you can check it out on slam.org. Now, I hope that you've enjoyed this art chat, and I really hope that you enjoy Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Bye. Thank you to our annual and BAC members for your support of the Art Museum during our COVID-19 shutdown. Museum members enjoy many benefits, including free admission to exhibitions, exclusive events, discounts, and more. Sounds good, right? For more information on how you can become a museum member, visit slam.org slash membership. Thank you to the members of the museum's corporate partnership program. We are so grateful for your generous support during the closure and look forward to welcoming you back to the gallery soon. Put your creativity to the test. Go through your closet and dress up like a hero from the museum's collection. Find a work by going to slam.org slash collection to browse your favorite options. Are you up for the challenge? Share a photo of your outfit with us by using hashtag at home film series. And maybe your pick will get chosen to be featured on next Friday's at home film series watch party. I never actually started out to be a collector, but I loved art and I wanted to 
have art on the wall. I always loved having pictures on the wall. And so I started out buying one piece, another piece, and I was dabbling into it. Abstraction was my reason and my love and my passion for art, and that's why I collected it. I was able to connect up with some of those black artists that were part of a, a movement like ab abstract expressionism. We developed close relationships and close ties. I had my first exposure to any museum at the St. Louis Art Museum. And I just felt like uh, because my mother and father exposed us to so many of the arts, I thought it was very appropriate to give it to the St. Louis Art Museum. That was my first and only choice, actually. When I see this work at the St. Louis Art Museum, it's just so satisfying, it's gratifying, and it gives me a sense that this work is going to live on. These artists are going to be remembered. I think when people really can embrace the work and take down their barriers, it's going to open their mind to new possibilities, perhaps. They'll take another look and another look and another look, and all of a sudden, they love abstraction. For a quick and easy way to find where you can watch tonight's movie, check out Real Good, the universal search engine for all streaming services. Go to slam.org slash film series, scroll to the how to watch section, and find your preferred streaming service. Thank you for joining us for the At Home Film Series Watch Party. We'd like to once again thank Sauce Magazine and all of our partnering restaurants. We hope to see you right here next Friday at 8.30 p.m. for another amazing lineup of art activities, movie trivia, cocktail making, and more, followed by summer fun film. 
Now sit back, relax, and enjoy this summer escape. Thank <laughs> you.